We're back with Richard Southern again, this time chatting about some words that tripped up our tongues this year. I'm scared about this because, you know, in our business, this is what we don't want to get no, on to, right? It's, it's our worst nightmares. <laughs> yeah. So language app Babbel uh, is out with, yeah, their most mispronounced words of the year. Number one is, say it with me, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. That's not so bad, Chernobyl. right? Chernobyl, yeah. That's, of course, you know, the HBO show and the site of the nuclear disaster in 86. Uh, the next one, this is the, the man who was the first this year to run a marathon in under two hours. Uh, this is Eliud Kip George, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try that one. <laughs> uh, next, of course, uh, in the news yesterday, uh, Greta Thunberg. I think we nailed that, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, take the next one. A very famous actor in a big movie this year, Jacqueen Phoenix. Did we get that right, Jacqueen Phoenix? Joaquin. Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. See, I completely butchered <laughs> it. And uh, rounding out the list, Notre Dame, the big cathedral that suffered a fire. Interesting. In Paris this year. So you don't want it. We say it in our business when you hit something cold, when you get you see it on the script before you've had a chance to practice it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to hit any of those cold. No, I'd no, not not that uh, the second one there. That one looks a little scary. I know some people, at least with me, my last name seems to trip people up a lot. <laughs> Nicovoli. <laughs> Nicovoli. We got it's, it. Yeah, it's easy, right? <laughs> and now a man in Brazil went to great lengths to help his family member pass a driver's test. He sure did. This is a 43-year-old man, and he's been arrested uh, for dressing up like his mother to take her driving <laughs> test for her. There he is, trying to be, pretend like he's mom. Uh, apparently, the 60-year-old mother kept failing her driving test and wanting to be a good son. He said, don't worry, mom, I'm going to go take it for you. Uh, he, he put on a floral dress, makeup, wig, the whole deal. Actually worked for a while until he got in the car with the instructor and she realized, you don't look like anyone <laughs> on the ID here. He was arrested for, for fraud, but you know what? He's guilty of being a good son, don't you think? I think so. I wonder, did he, I wonder if he uh, changed up his voice to sound more like a woman as well. <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, I think it'd be the opposite for me. My mom would have to take my driving test for me, quite frankly. <laughs> and lastly, Richard, many of us could benefit from this, especially with all the sweets that we get uh, during the holidays. Yeah, a new study out of the U.K., Melissa, finds that adding labels to food that show how much exercise is needed to burn off the calories could help combat obesity. So the proposed labeling system would, for example, show that a chocolate bar containing 230 calories would take 23 minutes of running oh or 40, I know, 46 <laughs> minutes of walking to burn off. It does kind of highlight it when you put it that way, right? Uh, can't we just have anything? Uh, can we it's have nice holidays. things? A can of pop <laughs> takes 26 minutes of walking or 13 minutes of running to burn off. You know, experts say it's a good way of putting it in context. However, advocates say that this could be an issue for people with eating disorders. So there, there's kind of two schools of thought on this one. True, true. Well, I, I, I'm still going to eat my cake. I, absolutely. You know, when they put the calorie counts in Ontario on menus, it's something you do kind of take note of, I think. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely something to keep in mind when you are about to have a meal. Yeah, for sure. We still order it. We just look at it and then we still order it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much, Richard. Have a good weekend. You too.